Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, hello everybody, I'm Hewell Hauser, and here it is Saturday morning. Get ready for an adventure. Here's the setup. I am a big fan of Jonathan Gold. He is the food writer, the restaurant critic for LA Weekly. I read his columns every week and I like the same kind of food, the same kind of places that Jonathan likes. So truth in advertising, what we have done this Saturday morning, I've just pulled one of his latest articles out of the LA Weekly and we're following through on some of his favorite places. The first one is here in Rosemead. It's called Mr. Baguette, and they specialize in something that I've never heard of before, but it sounds great. So we're going inside Mr. Baguette to check it out. Okay, we're inside the establishment here. Fellas, I'm Huell Hauser. Yes, uh, my name is Brian Tang. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. My name is Guang Ho. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, you know, we are here because I read this article in the LA Weekly, and Jonathan Gold was raving about your, ba is it Bon Mi? Yeah, Bon, bon Mi, yes. Bon Mi? Yes, yes, Bon Mi. What is Bon Mi? This is the original name from French, it's Bon de Mi. Bun to me is the, some kind of the bread. It's a bread? Yes, yeah, the bread, yeah. But he said it was like a, the, the Vietnamese version of a submarine sandwich, is yes. that right? Yeah, this mix between the Vietnamese and, and French. So it mixed together. It's part yes. of the Vietnamese culture yeah. with the French mixed in. Exactly, yes. And is this? Yeah, all kind of this one, yes. So this is what they look like? Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, number one, number two, the special of the house. And number five, number six will be the special of the chicken. And all kind will be very, very good. Wow, is this what you specialize in here? This is what people come here for, is the banh mi? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right. In fact, at this uh, establishment, that is we provide with all the banh mi and croissant, and especially that very tasty French coffee. Oh, French coffee. Well, can we, uh, can we get a, co can we, can we taste it? Can oh, we I'm see what it's like? Where guess. do we, where do we, what do we do? We come up here and order. Yeah. Yes. Look, yeah, ice milk coffee, please. What did you just order for me? Yeah, this is uh, ice milk coffee, French original one. Yes. Oh, this is French? Yes. Coffee? Yeah, French. And could I have one of the sandwiches? The, oh, absolutely. Uh, which yeah. one should I get, do you oh. think? What's the favorite? Yes, we call it a special sandwich. Special sandwich. Which number is it up on the... The number one, that's called special sandwich. It's, uh, it has two kinds. One, it comes uh, with blend, and the other one it has a, a little seed on it, that is sesame. Ah, and so, which means it's, it's very, very beautiful and very uh, flavorful taste. Wow, now would you... Well, look how busy things are back here. You're making a lot of sandwiches. Yes, we do. Um, Average says uh, we have a thousand of customers come every day. A to thousand customers? And more. Wow. And they all get the sandwiches. Okay, here it is. Boy, they're quick here, too. Let's open this up. Ah. Now, this just has ham. Uh, this one with, uh, with uh, the bun made with the ham uh -huh. and the uh, hat cheese and the meatloaf. Okay, so ham, cheese, and, and, meatloaf. and, meatloaf. and meatloaf. Yes. Yes. Now, can you put other things on it? Like, do you put mustard, mayonnaise, yeah, pickles? Okay. Yeah, you can put it in. Do you put that on yourself or uh, do you order that? You order that, yes. Oh, you know, look. This is the croissant. Oh, my gosh. Look at that croissant. That's beautiful. So you specialize in these. Now, what are these little meat? They look like little meat pies over yeah, here. Yeah, it's meat pie, special from French, we yeah. We have a three kinds. In the French, we call pâté chaud. In fact, we have a chicken, um, beef, and pork. And what are these called? And pâté chaud. Pâté chaud. Yes, in French. So this is really a very much influenced by the French yes. culture in yes. Vietnam. And Vietnam is, yes. Yeah. Now, were you born in this country? Did you come here from Vietnam? Well, in fact, we came from Vietnam. So did you have a restaurant in Vietnam? Uh, no, yeah. In fact, uh, 
this gentleman here, he's the president and CEO, but in fact, in the past, he's in jewelry business. In the jewelry business? Yes. So, so, so you <laughs> segue from jewelry to meat pies? Oh, because my family in French, they own about 45 stores in French. Ah. And my sister, yes. Oh, look, she just keeps bringing stuff out. So you can actually just buy the bread. Yeah, this one they call baguette. That's why the place yeah. is named Baguette. Yeah, baguette, yes. So you can actually just, people come here just for the bread as well. Yes, only for Or you can cut it up yes. and make a sandwich. For the sandwich, of yes, of course, yeah. Here's a happy customer over here drinking the French coffee. Yes, sir. That's what you come here for. Uh, that's why I come here. I now, love the coffee. Now, are you from Vietnam? Yes, sir. So is this as good as the coffee you remember from Vietnam? I think much better. Better? Better, much better. <laughs> no question about it. What makes it better? Because the quality is higher. It's the quality. The quantity? Yeah, quality, because uh, there, there's a real copy. Oh, okay. There's a real, 100% real copy. Oh, the quality? Qu the quality of our coffee is so special that you cannot, no one can beat it. Well, what kind of coffee, what makes your coffee so special? Uh, we use the French coffee and mix with Italian. Ah, yeah, so but, you're mixing in a little bit of yes, Italian in yes, there. Yes, yes. They don't do that in Vietnam. Well, yeah. we don't. So this is kind of a... Uh, uh, typically Los Angeles way of mixing yeah, you, yes. yeah, a little bit of Vietnamese, style. a little bit of French, and a little bit of Italian. Exactly, yeah. because as you know that cooking and also um, creating the new food menu just like an art. And yeah. that's why that my superior that he's doing that. Yeah, and with his background in the jewelry business. Exactly, and that's why that we uh, he wants to bring this a concept to serve and to a, the old the new, a generation. new generation. Yes. Yes. You tell me this is your first time here. Yes, it's my first time what here. What brought you in this morning? Because I work, I'm going to school across the street here and it smells good. I can <laughs> smell the bread. So, do, wait a minute now. Do you know what you're going to get? No, everything looks good. Probably a turkey. So, you're going to get the turkey and, and do you know what the name of this sandwich is called? No. It's called. It's called, help her out a little bit. The name of the, the sandwich is called. Which one is it? The bong. Bong mei. Bong mei. Bong mei? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll this have is the first time. Here she goes. Hi, can I have a bong mei? Bong mei, yeah. Meat. What kind of what? Which kind of meat? Meat, turkey. Turkey. Okay. Turkey, bong mei. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all. Okay, $2.52. See, that was easy. And this yeah. was her first yeah. time in here. Yes, yeah, it's very easy to call that, yes. So a lot of people come in not knowing exactly yeah. what to order, but well, it's pretty, you've got it pretty well spelled out for yes. them up here. Yes, we have the English and Vietnamese also. Oh no, under the menu, you see oh, okay. that? Yeah. So you have it in English and yeah. in Vietnamese. Yeah. Yes. But you better get it in Spanish. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Italian. Yes. <laughs> French. Yes. And anything else. Exactly. And besides of that, we also have not only the meat, but for the people that is on the diet, that we have the veggie ham. That is, in fact, that vegetable. A vegetarian bog meat. Yes. yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what have you all loaded up on here? Uh, just for uh, something we're going to take over with our trip to uh, Santa Barbara, so it's, yeah. So you got something to go. Yeah. What did you get? Is this your first time yeah, here? Yeah, this is my first time here, but my wife has been here several times. Ah, so you brought your husband today. Actually, my brother brought, brought me here. Oh, your brother brought you here the first time. Right, yeah. You liked it. Now you're bringing your husband here. Right. And why do you like it so much? Oh, because it's easy and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's why. It's like a fast food. So, you know, you can bring it with you, I mean, you know, on the trip. So, and also you can stay for about, I would say, half a day at least. So, you know, in case you're hungry, sometimes you can, you know, have a bite. All right. So you've got, what, two sandwiches? Yeah, and one coffee. And some coffee. And yeah. that's going to last you on your trip yeah, to Santa Barbara. Yeah, definitely. Well, have a great trip. Okay, thank you. Good morning. What are you ordering? Um, I'm ordering uh, the sandwich. Uh huh. The yeah. bang mi. Yes. Uh, bang mi. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> That's a Vietnamese for a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Uh, You're from Vietnam? Uh, no, actually, um, uh, my parents Chinese, but I was born in Vietnam, raised there. Ah, yeah. so this is a little bit of home here. Yes, like a home. You know, 
bread eat, you know. Now, do you get some just for yourself, or do you buy it for others and take it back with you, or um, what? Yeah, buy other, take back with me. So you're buying for the whole family this whole morning. Family, How many exactly. are you getting? Um, six, uh, actually nine all total. Six? Yeah. Nine? Six plus nine are uh, three more different types. Oh my God. <laughs> you're keeping these people in business. Yeah, yeah, because the reason is that the food here is basically very good. The bread is very crunchy, you know, and then uh, the, somehow they learn it from Europe, you know, they call Mr. Baguette, you know, and the bread is so good, so customers keep coming back and back and order, yeah. and this place is getting very popular. She's loaded down. You weren't able to eat it all, were you? No, because uh, I, it's very good. I, I need to have a little bit for my home. You're taking it home? Yes. Yes. Now, are you a regular customer here? Yes, I come every every day. How did you find dinner. out about this place? I just came one day, and then I really like it, and I, I still uh, still come in every day. Now, are you Vietnamese? No, I'm not. You're from El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Do they have sandwiches like this in El Salvador? No, no, no. We don't have. Do you have coffee like this? No. It's new for me. Every, so, every, so this is all new. Yes. Which makes you happy because you're introducing people from other countries to this culture, to this food. Exactly. That's our purpose because we want to bring this concept to all uh, our Caucasian and to all ethnics, and also that we want to bring this concept to the new generation. Wow. Nice to meet you. Your name is Esperanza. Quintanilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You got your sandwich. How is it? It's really good. Does it taste as good as it smells? Yeah. So it you'll did. be back. I'll be back. Hold that thing up and show everybody what you got. Open it up for us. So you got the turkey, the tomato, the cheese, and, and the lettuce. And the bread. And the bread. The bread's good too, uh -huh. isn't it? <laughs> it is. Boy, you're place is busy this morning. You got worker bees back here. They're all making these wonderful sandwiches. Exactly. They are very busy, especially that the, on the weekends. Yeah, and you as brought weekdays. us back behind here because you kind of wanted to show us what's going on sure, back sure. in here, yeah. Yeah. which is very interesting. You've got your own, you bake your own bread back yeah. here. Every half an hour we have the new bread come off of the oven. So it's all made from scratch, scratch fresh, yeah. right here? Yes, right. Yeah, all proofing in here and make from scratches and every half an hour we have the new bread come out. Then it sends me uh -huh. baguette. Wow. And this one, same way. Oh, okay. So, oh, there's a difference. You've got shorter buns yeah, shorter for same and way. longer buns. Yeah, the longer one. Also, yeah. Boy, this is beautiful looking bread back here. Thank you very much. And this is the one that we try to show and to bring the best quality to our customers. Yeah, and here it is, all ready to go. So yes, we it's sell ready. a lot of this, don't yes, you? Yes, yes, we Four, sell a 5, lot. 5,000. Minimum 5,000. A day? A day, yes. You're kidding. Yes, yeah, sure, absolutely. You all are rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just penny, you know, very, the price, very good price. We want to promote the, the new concept yeah. during this time, yes. Okay, continuing our tour behind the counter, I spotted something down here to drink that you said is also very authentic. What have we got right here? This one, a Thai tea. Thai tea? Thai, Thai, Thailand. Thai tea. Yeah, Thai tea, yes. And what is this green? This one, uh, some kind of the herb, they call penny, penny wool. Can, can we get a glass of that sure, and see what that it. looks like? I'm not sure I know what you call this. I call the penny, penny worth leaves, or some, some people they call penny leaf. But penny kind of, leaf? Yeah, penny. This, the leaf is small, it's about a penny size. And what is that he's putting in there? That is sugar. Sugar? sugar. Yes. yes. And you just mix it up. And then... And that's it? Yes. And then we put some ice in there. Can I drink it just like this? Just like that is fine. Looks like cough medicine. Well, no. It's, it's, in fact, when for the tradition of Vietnamese style, the people, when people inside sometimes they de, uh, dehydrate or they kind of feel uh, lacking up of water when they are working, right? Dehydrated. Dehydrated, and then they drink this one. Oh. Oh boy, that's good. Exactly. It tastes almost like grass. 
You know when you eat, uh, drank grass juice? Yes. yes. Uh, in some kind of the herb. Yeah, similar. So there's some grass in here. No, no grass. In fact, this is, a, they call it a penny leaf. The leaf is just like a, about the, a quarter size of the porter. And it has a one small um, uh, stem beneath. A little leaf. A little Where leaf. do you get the leaves? Well, in the market, market right now, since our Vietnamese oh. people come over here and they, uh, we got it from the farm. So you, do you grow that in California now, the leaves? The, the leaves, they, they grow in California. Wow. This is very good and very authentic. Thank you very much. Your first time here and you all are loaded down. Now how did you find out about this place? Um, actually we've been in the drive through many times and back and forth and then my wife keep pointing to this place and they say it's uh, really crowded and uh, why don't we give it a shot. So. Well now do you know anything about the food that you got here today? How did you know what to order? Uh, I would say this is kind of modernized of a Vietnamese uh, style of fast food uh -huh. and it looks very clean and it looks very stylish so I, I would say you know just give it a shot and it seems to be very uh, convincing so far. Now do you live in the neighborhood? Do you live? Uh, no actually I live in the Arcadia yeah, so I, I drove here just would like to you know give it a try. So really, yes. What you got there? Two pieces of bread. Yeah, or no, no meat inside. Just Only the bread. Just the bread. So you like the bread? I like bread. Now, do you? What will you do with this bread? Oh, I take home. I eat with the uh, roast duck and the chicken duck. Oh, something. with roast yeah. duck. Yeah, any kind you want. Uh huh. Yeah, that's and a friend, friend bread. French bread. Yeah. Anybody Vietnamese, they like it. We got two generations here. This is your mom. Yes. So this is, for her, this is very traditional. Yeah. She's a vegetarian today, so she only brought bread so she can eat with, uh, you know, soy no sauce or condensed. No meat. Yeah, no meat. So she just likes the plain bread. Yeah, normally she would eat with a condensed milk or, or um, just dip in, like, you know, coffee, uh -huh. cream, sugars. Type of deal. Isn't this interesting that, that we have this whole generational thing going here, that she's here because she likes the traditional bread, mm -hmm. you're here because... I like the traditional, traditional bread too, <laughs> and it's cheap. I do, I do, I work in Pasadena, I do run down here and get lunch like this too. So. Yeah, but it's kind of nice that the two of you are here together. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Did your friend tell you about this place? Uh huh. What did she say? She said, "Oh, they have the new Mr. Bucket sandwich just open. Go try it." I say, "Okay, at home, it's just come to try." Oh, it's good. Yeah, and coffee is good too. Better than Starbucks. <laughs> Boy, just since we got here. This place is packed. Look at all the people who've come in here. Oh, yes. Exactly. This because um, thanks to our customers, they, they love to uh, come to Mr. Baguette. But I mean, is it a weekend thing? We, we, weekend, weekdays, also the same. Especially early in the morning, people to go, they grab the sandwich for lunch, for breakfast. Yeah. So if people want to come and don't want to have to stand in line, what time of day should they come? Well, they can come and then our uh, employees, they will serve and then very, very quick. Oh, yeah. so it's quick, even though there are a lot of people? For the, yes. for the maximum of three and a half minutes, complete us the order. Yeah. Now, be honest, are you all a little surprised at how well your place is doing here? Well, in fact, the first when we first established this uh, business, we uh, expect these uh, customers are coming like that this much. The reason why because uh, we know that our customers love banh mi, especially. They love the banh mi. Yes, and the French uh, coffee. Uh huh. Is but this isn't the only place out here you can get banh mi, is it? Well, in fact, they have a many special. Uh, they have a many places. However. When the customer have a choice, they will come to the best place. Oh. <laughs> He's your marketing guy right here. Thank you very much. But this was your first restaurant, so this has got to be a real sense of pride for you to see how successful it is. Well, in fact, uh, thank you very much, and uh, you won't be surprised because the next uh, couple of weeks, we will build uh, the next uh, project in Monterey Park. And Monterey Park, you'll be opening another one. Yes. So this could be a whole chain all over Southern California. And also, we're planning within five years, we'll build minimum 25 stores in California. Wow, so this is the beginning 
of a whole new chapter in Southern California restaurants, food, Mr. Baguette will be a household word before long. Exactly. In the future, I don't think there is a people they might uh, they are going to uh, need to buy uh, food from the outside. Just come to Mr. Baguette, and they will have food at home. <laughs> well, thank you very much for an absolutely wonderful day. We came here kind of on the spur of the moment. You weren't really expecting us, were you? Well, thank you very much for coming. And in fact, this is uh, the first time that uh, we are uh, being interviewed by an American um, on television. On tele television. And besides, uh, we didn't know that you're coming this morning. I was, yeah. We were very surprised. And we were contacting yeah, the CEO. Right. And uh, we said that uh, he was surprised. Said, really? And when we came and uh, in fact, uh, we do not prepare anything for you in well, my but, but that's the best when you just walk in like this and see it the way it really is. And what I'm struck by is that this is an honest to goodness American Vietnamese success story. This is, you have come here to this country and really done something quite wonderful. Well, thank you for your, um, for your um, recommendation. And besides, I, I believe that's a, in our point of view, that's a, when we come over here, at least we want to bring the best product to serve to American people. And to lots of different cultures. Well, yes, in, indeed. Uh, we have a lot of people that are different nationalities. They come from Thailand, Vietnamese, Chinese, uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, or all kinds of uh, nationalities when they come to our restaurant. And we are very, very happy to uh, serve them. Well, I predict big things for Mr. Baguette. We are just delighted to be here at the original Mr. Baguette here in Rosemead. Uh, before you grow and become even bigger and more, and more diversified, but you definitely deserve all of the success that you're going to receive. I highly recommend a visit to this place. Not only is the food wonderful and the atmosphere is great, but when you come here, you'll be helping an honest-to-goodness American success story come true. Thank That's you. what this is Thank really you. all about. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you We've had an absolutely it. wonderful morning and here at Mr. Baguette. Thank you. From Mr. Baguette to chocolate, you never know what you're going to find in L.A. Right now we're on the corner of First and Beverly, and we are getting ready to do a story on the French, Korean, Chocolate connection, is that right? That's totally right. It's a French Korean venture. <laughs> in I'm chocolate. In chocolate. I am only the chocolate talker, but my wife is the chocolate maker along with her daughter. Okay, so you are the chocolate maker. Yes. Your name is Wazong. And your name? He Zong. And you are Christian. The spokesperson, the, spokesperson. the French <laughs> spokesperson for all of this. All right, ladies, you all go back to work back okay. in there. Come on, let's walk through here because we're talking about chocolate. You have a chocolate shop here. Yes. And chocolate is a lot harder than most of us think it is to make, isn't oh, it? To totally. It's a question of uh, temperature mainly, and uh, you constantly have to monitor your work. If you stop in the middle of the process, most of the time, you will have to start again from scratch. As you can see now, my wife is molding uh, an egg for uh, Easter, and uh, she has to, f to do that three times. First time, she's just putting a little bit of chocolate around to get the shape. Let me see that again. So she's putting the chocolate mm -hmm. inside the mold mm -hmm. Just to create the shell. Just to create the shell, absolutely. And what happens to that now? And then we will, we will do that two or three times uh, to have the right thickness of the shell. Oh, look, now that's what it... And here is it this has, just the shell? This is just the shell. As you can see, this is empty. Now, is that going to be and filled? And this will be filled with an assortment of our chocolate and new flavors that we'll put on the market uh, for uh, this occasion of Easter. What is it, the texture? The yeah, she, ha she, has been, she has been to school for almost five years uh, in Paris. And just working just on chocolate? working on pastry and chocolate, and then uh, starting with pastry and then specializing in chocolate. And she also has worked with the uh, most 
well-known or best professional uh, in this area in Paris for, uh, also. So she really knows her stuff. She knows her chocolate. She knows her chocolate, absolutely. I've been coming here for probably about four years. And had you ever tasted chocolate like this before? No, and that's why I keep coming back. How do you describe it to people who haven't tasted this kind of chocolate? Mm, they're very intense chocolates. Mm -hmm. They're very special chocolates. They are ones that you taste it once and you crave them and you want to come back and get more. And so I always come and buy some for myself. I pick up one just for me. But then I you always... You mean just one piece? Just, just one piece just for me. And then I take the group. I could take some of these back to some other people. Sure you are. <laughs> sure you yeah. are. It's hard to just eat one piece, isn't it? it? It really is because they are very good. They're very rich and um, they're very flavorful. It Does just, it help knowing that you see it being made right here in the store, you know who's making it and how they're making well, it? Well, I think that that's, that's probably most of it because there's so much love that goes into making this chocolate. Well, pull out a good piece of, what do you get when you come in here? Everything is delicious, but I personally like the uh, dark chocolate. Uh, the dark one. Yeah. Can you bring one of those oh, out? Yeah. How did you, did you have to go through all of this chocolate to? Sure, it was a labor of love. No, the, uh, pas the Rocher Noir. Ah, That's my favorite. That's your favorite too. Yeah. You have a terrific French taste. Yeah. Because the, this Rocher Noir is really a, a very now big classic. Talk about this. Tell me what's in it, and then I'll have him tell us okay. what's in it. It's a, I taste hazelnut. Is that yes. correct? I taste okay. hazelnut. I taste bittersweet chocolate, and something crunchy besides hazelnut. I don't know what that is. Good. Yeah, this is what we call feuilletine or royaltine or whatever, depending upon that? the brand. But it's like, you know, this kind of very light, thin cookie, like a dried crepe that you may find with your ice cream. It's a little bit this kind of crunchiness. Wow. So it's very light and it's extremely flavorful because so you have a lot, it's a bunch of nuts in there. So no, this the only just makes your mouth explode. It's Phenomenal. It's really difficult to describe. You will have to try it because well, I'll, you can talk you me into that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this I is I thought I had eaten chocolate before. Oh, I appreciate that you said now, that. Thank you. Now you know. You really know. Isn't don't that you? something? Isn't that delicious? And try to find the words to describe it. You it's beyond, correct? Oh my gosh. See, and that's all he's reduced to. He can't the English is just uh, not and you've adequate. you've got a whole case of this available. Oh, yes, permanently. And we <laughs> refill the case when it becomes Fresh empty. Fresh every day. Fresh every day. Well, that's been it. Thank you very much. The name of the Thank store you. is? And the name of the, of the store is, uh, the manufacturer is l'artisan du chocolat. And the artisan right of the chocolate. And it's right on the corner of First and Beverly, basically. Absolutely. And when you come here, You've got all of this chocolate to choose from. It's homemade right here in the back. I've only had one piece, cool. but I'm already hooked. Well, that's it on the corner of First and Beverly. All you ever wanted to know about good chocolate, Absolutely. fresh chocolate, homemade chocolate, totally. right here on the corner of First and Beverly. Thank you. Visiting with Huell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.